What's up you ILS Army and ILS family welcome back to the channel I'll be covering some of the key updates that ILUS shared with us ILUS shared a couple of videos quite honestly the videos were too long so I did not really get a chance to watch the full video but what I'm going to share with you is the highlight of ILUS they have two videos right here this one is 59 minutes or 60 minutes super super long video this is an 18 minute video what I will do in this video is I'll share the crux of the what they're trying to share with us as you can see their followers are growing 14,600 followers on their Twitter handle they have ton of uh, juicy juicy updates and information coming up uh, including their highlights on Nasdaq uplisting stock getting into the 30 cents dilemma right now as you can see we could not really cross the 40 cents level I have been talking about what is one of the technical strong technical pointer for the price resistance and price support with you so we did not really go below 32 cents but we couldn't really go above 40 cents as well if you take a look at one day we are up 5.45 percent for five day the stock is up seven percent for one month the stock is up ten percent so all in all it's pretty profitable if you think about the stock price from four cents to 45 48 cents we have 10x return on this stock and i've been covering this stock pretty pretty consistently consistently right after nine cents and we have seen massive massive run up 6x so one thousand dollars can turn into six thousand dollars now if you think about from the all the way top from 40 45 cents we are only down 20 percent so the deep is not as much now we can expect a ton of more potential from the stock price we have coming up the shareholder meetup the shareholder meeting the first meeting and this uh, cyberlux or uh, also ilus is big becoming 100 million dollar revenue company which is one of their ambitious goal so i'll be talking about all that i'll be sharing most importantly what they talked in both of this video i'll share the juicy juicy or the highlight uh, whatever you want to consider in terms of the highlighted information you don't necessarily want to watch the 60 minute video i didn't I, they are repeating what they already shared with us but i'll be sharing some of these clips with you so you can also learn what they're talking about here we go i'm uh, watching it so i just thought i'd do this highlights video for you and i guess for the benefit of this video also containing possibly a little bit more juicy information don't forget they are using juicy information so i think they're stealing my words juicy is something i've been talking when it comes to eyeless and the other stock that i talk on this channel cybl both are juicy 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 stocks both are important stocks and they have massive potential and catalyst by this point if you haven't clicked the like button click on the like button do your part so this video can reach to more and more people if you're watching this video either you're a subscriber already or you are a shareholder or you're trying to get in to ILS. It doesn't cost you anything if you click the like button. If you are not subscribed, I would recommend you subscribe as well because I bring to you a ton of penny stocks, OTC stocks, and we have seen up to 10x return just in a couple of months or three. So do your part, click the like button, subscribe my subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. That's all free and you can get a ton of advantage and benefit of watching this videos. So let's talk about what he's talking next. Thank you. Um, and so I wanted to update you on a few highlights of what has happened uh, on what we're working on and then what some of our exciting plans are. So just to recap, in the last couple of weeks, we've completed the pre-contract agreements on three additional acquisitions in the US, and those will add 12 million in revenue to our books before we add additional growth to them. Uh, for those who don't know, we already acquired three companies in the first two quarters of this year. And so now we're adding another three and then we hope to agree and complete with at least two more, uh, possibly even as many as four more in the next. So they're talking about, the, we already know that in the first half, we the ILS has acquired three companies. Right now, in last uh, few months, they acquired three more. So it's six total acquisitions that ILS has done in 2021. There are two more coming. Now with these acquisitions that they have already done, they will, they will bring in $12 million in revenue year over year starting 2022. Uh, the revenue will start this year but if you think about the 12 month growth it will be 
close to 12 million which does not include the scalability so ILS will be growing the revenue as well because if you think about all these companies that they're buying within the same realm of the fire mist technology the security and operations that ILS wants to do there they also aggressively uh, mentioned that they want to dominate the US firefighting equipment market within 12 to 4 24 months so this is within two year span they want to dominate the market now what that means is they want to aggressively change the way the firefighting system works in the United States following this they will do the same fire protection into the market their strategy is the deliverable and already in action where we will share this in upcoming video updates and our shareholder meetups as well now if you think about the shareholder meetup when they are going they have announced already this shareholder meetup so if you think about take a look right here uh, November 17th and November 19th so Wednesday and Friday they have the the meetups coming up in New York on uh, November 17th is in New York uh, in the East Coast and November 19th is on the West Coast and Las Vegas and they're going to share a ton of information not only that on Friday the January 28th 2022 is going to be once again a key month for C uh, for ILUS ILS uh, International because it, they are finishing completing their 12 months or one year milestone and they are holding the shareholder meeting in Las Vegas Vegas, they have been aggressively growing they'll be sharing a ton of information that is going to be super super important and very very juicy so let's get into it what further they're talking about a few months and I do mean those outside of our large EU acquisition and any other large deals that we've spoken about uh, we have begun the process of shipping equipment and vehicles like our Eraptor electric UTV uh, our plastic welding machinery and raw materials over to the US so that the acquisitions will be able to begin preparing for the manufacture of our technology in the US. So basically what JP Backwell here is saying, and by the way, if you don't know him, he is one of the executive. He has been sharing a ton of information with us. Uh, the, the for, this time the format was different. Last time, if you take a look right here, the format was more of a presentation where we can get or absorb the key takeaways while they're talking. This time around, it is more like a chat or a, a fireside chat and talk uh, as to what they're doing but i'll be sharing this slide with you because they are pretty much in line with what they talked to us in the past but before we go there i just wanted to share one more piece of clip that you really want to watch and what they're talking in terms of the nasdaq uplisting plan because if you know we want to as a shareholder if you own ILS or if you're trying to get into ILS, one of the big big catalysts is ILS is getting a nasdaq it's a 30 five cents stock more or less right now if they get on nasdaq we can easily expect the stock price will be two to three dollar range they have a ton of important updates coming up in terms of their share structure that we'll be also talking in this video later on but before that let's talk about or let's listen to what jp backwell says in this last clip that i wanted to share so that you don't have to watch the full one hour and 30 minute videos Busy trying to climb these mountains alone without any extensively experienced teams of experts working with us and obviously you know this all ensures that we can accomplish a lot relatively quickly and then to that point we're also talking to potential members of our board of directors for the nasdaq company those who have taken companies to nasdaq along the route that we're following previously and those who are also incredibly experienced successful influential you know former firefighters or influences in the firefighting industry. Uh, you'll see they will be advertising for a number of C-level positions in the coming weeks, including that of a CFO, an in-house SEC attorney, and, and, and others. And that's all to get our structure in place uh, for that NASDAQ uplist. So, <laughs> so once again, they are super, super focused on the Nasdaq uplisting. They have already people on their board of director in the key position. They're hiring more people, but the goal is to to make sure. I, I wanted to I wanted to share this gym uh, quote that they just mentioned. Let's let's see if it's right there. I, well, just to say, for me personally, I always think about this Nasdaq uplisting in the same way I think about going to the gym. So basically, what I'm he's saying there, that 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 that's on the top more. of. Uh, 
sorry what what he's trying to say is it's on the top of his mind every single day you want to go to the gym the same way he, he goes to the gym as well and every single day you go to the gym you're trying to think about like how you become healthy so on and so forth so basically what they're trying to say it's nastic uplisting on top of their mind and that's one of the key initiatives that they want to bring to their shareholder and if you can see that they're growing in new york they also have the office in london in europe and they have office now in dubai with the acquisition that they have they are bringing in ton more revenue before earlier this year they have done close to about two to three million dollar revenue last quarter they did almost three million dollar in revenue with the invoices delayed they have almost four million dollar in revenue that will be added into the q4 revenue cycle as well if you take a look they are super focused on the shareholder they have the meetups coming up their shareholder meetings coming up and they have been they have been mentioning multiple times that they want to grow aggressively to 100 million dollar revenue company now think about it if a company is 100 million dollar revenue which is 20x revenue than what they're doing today their stock price will definitely be reflecting the revenue and the profitability what i'm trying to find out from the q3 result and we don't really have the financials just yet but whenever we get it we want to find out the profitability how much money the company is spending in operating expenses what is their ebitda what is the profitability margin as well which means what they'll be bringing home for themselves and for their shareholders and i'll keep you posted as to what they're doing if you think about this uh, company they have done massive amount of work in last couple of months or three they have been aggressively growing they have acquired the firefighting equip equipment distribution company they have acquired bcd fire securing one million dollar deal they have uk patent acceptance as well not only that they have acquired a tennis based company right after that they announced the shareholder meeting they have acquired the companies that will, that will be doing 12 million dollar year over year revenue that will be added up super super aggressively and that is going to be looking pretty juicy now outstanding share is something i want to talk about the company mentioned that they have 1.2 billion outstanding shares the, as you can see right here on otc markets that they want to bring below the 1 billion dollar mark now if 1 million mark a 1 billion share mark so if they go if their share outstanding shares are below 1 billion that is going to be super super impactful into the stock price as well right now what you see right now you can think about like the 20 percent spike into the stock price hypothetically if they go there below the 1 billion shares outstanding shares now you also want to think about what the company is doing uh is creating a ton more awareness with their meetups that is coming up one thing that you want to notice is their volume the volume is going down and down so right now we are seeing little or little under nine million uh, stock volume on a trading session and that is reflecting onto the stock price if you think about uh, the stock needs to if the stock needs to go up they need to do more in volume if you take a look at the the moving average the moving average is looking pretty impressive pretty promising to me this is the moving average i like to see so the green is the moving average and the blue line is is the stock price now the stock price is about the moving average if you can think the moving average is driven by the stock price as you can see right now so as more and more the moving average goes higher and if the stock price remains above the moving average that is going to help the stock price if you take if you think about the rsi this is something i like to see the rsi is 56 not an overbought not an oversold condition i like to see the macd the way it is right now if you think about this moving average for five days um the stock price was down just at the end of the trading session but for the rest you can see this the the stock price the blue line is above the moving moving average which is the green line and which is a driving moving average up and up and up which is once again a bullish sign even for five days we see the rsi 50 the macd is a little bit below but i wouldn't worry too much about it since our rsi is pretty healthy and moving average is healthy as well if you take a look at the short volume the short volume ratio is 52.85 which is once again a pretty good healthy short volume ratio with the 8.9 million or 9 million close close to 9 million total volume we are not seeing a huge short volume the short volume was 4.7 million which is pretty okay in my honest opinion what you want to think about the upcoming upcoming key uh, key areas is practically the company wants to grow they're growing rapidly as they just mentioned on otc they are not going to do any reverse split we're not seeing any signs for stock dilution in upcoming uh, quarters or at least for next few months they are sticking with their plan to large acquisition our european deal is going to be one of the 
largest news whenever we th whenever we receive that news the third thing is the company is trying to grow aggressively in next six to nine months and their early stage in discussion with multiple companies as they mentioned they're closing two more deals uh in upcoming few upcoming few more months and they are they can do as much as four new acquisitions within next six months they're transparent they want to get uplisted on nasdaq and they truly value the shareholder so i wanted to bring this information to you so you can make informed financial decision i'm not a financial advisor this video is only for entertainment purposes do your own due diligence this is super risky resources reward investment but you can turn one thousand dollars in ten thousand dollars if you find the right price point and we have seen that multiple times for ILS, CYBL and many other stocks. Thanks for watching. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.